Hello and welcome to another episode of Super Sound Showcase. I'm your host, Gabby. We're sponsored by Culture Fix and today I'm joined by Rob Oliver. Good morning. Good morning. How are you doing? I'm good. Good. We're happy to have you here. So uh, I listened to a lot of your music before coming in, of course. Um, Guitar and harmonica. How did you come up with that combination? Uh, Well, so... I've been playing guitar, which feels like the majority of my life I've been playing guitar. Mm-hmm. Uh, I won't say how old I am, but <laughs> but but longer, yeah, more than I've been alive than I've not been alive, I play guitar. So I started on guitar first, always loved that. And then harmonica was really just on a whim. My, my mother uh, just like randomly put one in my stocking, which was six years ago I've been playing I don't know, guitar for 20 something years and harmonica for like six. So my mom randomly put one in there and it's just, I just kind of, uh, (laughs) I just think it's funny to say I didn't, I didn't really have much else going on. So I'm like, I'll just go learn how to play harmonica. Casual, you know? Yeah. So, so I (laughs) casually played it for an hour a day for years. (laughs) As you do. As, as one does. Sure. Exactly too. You know, I was just talking about that with someone on the way here about how you need to be obsessed with an instrument to learn something, so. Sure. Yeah. Well, I've noticed too some bands, they'll have a guitar player and a harmonica player, but not the same person, usually. Yeah, and I, you know, I get asked a lot if if I play on a rack, you know, the Mm -hmm. the Bob Dylan thing, you play on a rack. I I actually don't, uh, I I just haven't really taken the time to, to, uh, the, the large amount of time it would take to do that, because people ask you that, you know, I think people see people playing an instrument or they're good at sports or painting and they just think, oh, it's easy because sure. people make it look easy. Sure. But believe it or not, it is very difficult to play two different instruments at the same time. Right. So I, I play a lot of solo stuff like a lot of guys do. I do the looping stuff. Mm-hmm. So when I'm playing live solo, I'll just kind of I'll loop myself and then I'll play harmonica. So I am playing both, just not at the same time. But you are technically playing them at the same time. That's very cool. Yeah, with a little help from technology, yes. Well. <laughs> yeah. Um, so what what do you typically write about? Man, what do I write about? That's a cool question. I mean, you know, uh, you always have to try to find inspiration of things to write about. So, right. you know, I think the best stuff, like, like, you know, people connect to things that are personal and things that people can relate to. So I think if, if you learn the art of songwriting which is just like learning an instrument or something else Mm -hmm. you learn how to i think um be be vague enough you know that somebody can relate to something so i'm not just like oh you know i like i don't use the word gabby and i went to the store you just say i went to the store whatever it would you know lyrics about going to the store but so so yeah you try to make things personal and then um um, yeah, I mean, you write about relationships a lot, and but I like to grab on the ideas of things. Something will, somebody will say something to me. Like I have a vague idea of a song I want to write where somebody was talking about being direct with someone. Mm-hmm. So that's something I would like to latch on to because that's a cool idea. You could write a song about, you know, just don't don't sugarcoat things or right. something along those lines. Right. So, but. Yeah, it's really fun to go around. So you know, to go around and do these things for this week, and, and a little bit of promotion for Bulls? my for yeah. my album coming up. Uh oh, album coming up. So yes. I was going to ask you if there's anything exciting coming up. So talk about the album because that's very exciting. That is very exciting. Yeah, um, it's going to be coming out officially February fifteenth, and uh, I do have some CDs in my hand. So I've been I've been selling some of those at a couple shows, which sure. is which is really cool. I mean, why not go ahead and sell them early? Right. And uh, I'll be doing a uh, it's it's right now. It's just a, a private event I'm going to be doing um, at the studio where I recorded it, which is uh, I'll, I'll plug the studio. It's Sonicwall Studios in Portsmouth, and I recorded there with my buddy Joe Talley. And we literally spent. I was there. It took me a year. I was in there all of 2019 wow. recording that album. And, um, you know, I could. I, there's so much I could say about it, a lot that I could talk about it. And sometimes people would ask, well, why did it take you a year? Why did it take so long? If you look on the back of it, my name is kind of all over it as far as uh, 
you know, what I played and everything. Because mm -hmm. I, I uh, basically recorded a full band album with no band. Yeah, wow. And, and then plus I brought in, there's 11 other people that play on the album. And right. it's, it's basically my favorite, you know, just some of my favorite players from, from the Hampton Roads area. That is very cool. So yeah, yeah that makes sense why it would take you... Yeah, so a to year. work all the stuff out and you know bring people in and work out schedules with with everything, it takes a long time. But but I'm so excited about the album. It's uh, 12 songs, original music. It's it's blues mostly. Um, some are more traditional blues, but it's it's basically loosely a blues album. Very cool. And uh, yeah, it, it's, it was a long time coming, but it's so great from to actually have it in my hands and have it be out in the world. Well, I can't imagine. Yeah. Um, well, thank you. I, I showed the video. I got an advanced copy. By the time you're seeing this, the album will be out. You should have already bought it. But if you haven't, make sure you check that out. Um, where are you playing next then? Is it going to be mostly songs off of the new album when you do play? Yeah, I mean, when I play these days, it's usually, you know, on average, like these three-hour gigs. So I like to mix things up. I'll do mm -hmm. I'll do covers and, and then throw in a bunch of originals. Um you know, it takes so, obviously, like I just said, it takes a long time to record an album. So sure. I've already written a ton of new songs. So I I play stuff from the album. I play new originals. I play covers that I like. And so this week I will be, let's see, on, uh, what's today's date? Today is the 10th. <laughs> the 10th. Okay, so we're at Monday the 10th. Uh, Thursday the 14th. No, wait, the 13th, I will be at the Vanguard. I'll be playing solo acoustic at the Vanguard. And then February, which is Valentine's Day, I will have my full band, Rob Oliver and the Attractors, will be playing at Brown Chicken, Brown Cow on Friday. And then Saturday the 15th is my CD listening party. Oh, oh okay. Well, yeah. if you don't have plans to uh, take your sweetheart anywhere for Valentine's Day, consider one of those. Yeah, come see us. We'll play, <laughs> we'll play one love song for you. <laughs> just one just one <laughs> all right well guys when we come back we're gonna hear two songs from rob oliver um this is super sound showcase sponsored by culture fix and we'll be right back uh this first i'm gonna do a little uh harmonica kind of acapella thing this is called wherever i am all right well take it away <laughs> Far from my home, a change of scenery. Cars, planes, boats, I'm gonna travel to seven seas. And go where I please. Wherever I am, I got everything that I could need. Friends that I meet, the hospitality, the room and the board and the welcome company. What more could there be? Wherever I am, I got everything that I could need. Thank <laughs> you. 
Some might say the farther you get from home, the miles tick by and feel more and more alone. But I don't think so. Wherever you go, you take the things you need inside your soul. That is a very spiffy little nomadic anthem there. That almost would make me happy to be stuck in traffic. Because at you. least I'm going somewhere interesting. Yeah, it's it's a, not, you know, it's a happy blues song. It's about a trip that I took to Jersey with some friends. So yeah. Very nice, very warm. I could feel the, the happiness behind that. Yeah. So what's next? Uh, next we're gonna change it up. We're gonna play uh, something a little uh, little more serious and intense. Uh oh. This is called The Devil and You. Okay, well that does sound serious, so uh, can't wait to hear it. Thank you. follow you We've got to pick and choose The forks in the road The angel on my shoulder tells me which way to go One thing I know is true you got the devil in you walked up to me I could see in your eyes the wolf hiding underneath the sheep was outside the angel on my shoulder tells me truth from the lies one thing I know is true got the devil in you Testifies when faith is undone, dodging a bullet from the barrel of a gun. The angel on my shoulder tells me when I should run. One thing I know is true. Got the devil in me. The apple is on the tree. Temptation grabs hold. You slithered up to me with your silver and gold. The angel on my shoulder tells me I'm in control. I know it's true You got the devil in you 